Hi, um, my name is Sharon Tellis Ford, and I've been an accountant my entire career life. I really love bike riding. I love going to the movies and hanging out with my family. I was diagnosed in 2007, but initially I did not want to get on the medication, so I waited an entire year before I decided to start any type of treatment because it was starting to affect my body negatively. I had two bone marrow aspirations by two different facilities, and I was told that I had MDS. I decided that I was gonna go see an MDS specialist in New York. Well, when I, uh, after I was tested there, they told me I didn't have MDS, I had PNH. So once I found out I had PNH, I, I kind of decided that I wasn't ready for treatment, but um, as time wore on, I had to start a treatment for PNH. mainly impact my work life mainly because I had to get treatment every other week and I had to start taking off of work every other week and I had to at that point in time resort to getting FMLA leave um, so it impacted mainly my work life and some of my home life so I had to work around when I had to go out of town or or anything that I was doing socially. Everything had to work around my treatment for PNH. When I received my diagnosis of PNH and I had to come to terms with what it was. And, and in so doing, I also had to understand my new disease that I had to explain to my family and my friends. Um, one, that it was a rare disease and that it's a, a, a bone marrow failure disease. Um, of course, people wanted to know, well, how did you get it? Did, did you acquire it? What happened? Besides me going to the PNH conferences, um, I, I would speak at those sometimes when we all would tell our story at the conferences, but I, my friends, I invited them to the conference. That was the opening of them learning what I actually had. Um, like I know, remember, I remember my first conference, I, I brought about 10 people with me, <laughs> my family and some of my friends, um, so that they can see exactly uh, what I will be going through and I did share it with um, my co-workers as well. If you're a PNH patient, I will advise you to stay the course. That is very, very critical. I also, I'll suggest possibly um, looking into getting into a clinical trial. I was advised by one of my PNH friends to to do a clinical trial and I said, nope, not for me. But a year later I decided to do it and it has worked tremendously for me. I no longer have to get blood transfusions. And so that's, that may be an option, but make sure you look into it before you jump into anything. But mainly just stay the course as to uh, keeping up with your treatment.